gosh, it's so busy. Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. I spent the whole morning cleaning up my apartment because I had like a little mini workshop for Cafe She for last week. And yeah, it was great because I managed to get a lot of bows done. But because it's in the living room, it just looked really messy. So I wanted to get as much sewing done as I could, then pack the sewing machine away so I can slowly work on the bows. So I plan to reopen the store hopefully in about two months time. I do need time to prepare all the stock because I don't have that many at the moment. So over the past week I think I've sewed like 300 bows. They're not finished yet, I have to still put them together. But I have decided to had to put them together but Sophie asked me this morning if she can get some bows for her cats Ghost and Emmett. So I unfortunately don't have that much stock right now so I could only give her what I have so because they are two cats cats usually go with the size small for bows so I'm going to give her two lemon sour bow ties in the small and then I also oh, what's this called again I think rainbow frappuccino these ones are cellar bows also in a small size so with cafe sheep every single item I sell it's got kind of like a food theme to it and I try and make it Japanese themed when I started cafe sheep I wanted to come up with something unique so I mean look everyone well not everyone but most people who start like small dog bow businesses in Australia they get the fabric from the same places from Spotlight and everyone was just making the same thing so that's why I wanted to be different of course I did buy a lot of my fabric from Spotlight as well like these ones are but I just wanted to keep everything food themed and also I really wanted Japanese dog accessories but no one was making them that's why I decided to make them so yeah I'm really excited to see where this goes this year I do plan to take a trip to Nippori which is the fabric town maybe in a few weeks when I have some time but I'm just gonna give these to Sophie for today I'm gonna head out now so we're going to go to the sky tree to visit the Genshin Impact collaboration which I'm really excited for so if you guys know me I love Genshin Impact and I do have a gaming channel and it's all about you know tutorials on how to get every single chest in the game I've been doing this for I would say like three and a half years now and honestly it's so fun making those videos I do take it very seriously there is an update in a few days which means that you guys probably won't see me for that whole week. I warn my friends that whole week don't contact me because I will not reply. I'm going to be gaming. So I'm going to like maybe show behind the scenes on what I get up to this week because okay, well no, first of all, for the next three days actually I have to go film um, two sponsored videos which I won't be putting in this vlog but I'll just show you guys what I get up to like after when I get home stuff like that so yeah it's gonna be a busy week that's why I packed away all my sewing stuff to make this place look a little bit nicer so I won't get stressed out but um oh, I'm gonna be late okay I need to go let's go So we have to wait an hour and a half to get into the sky tree because it's a Sunday, I guess. But I'm gonna go shopping. What is this? Uh, is it a, it's not a coaster, right? Oh no, it's just hanging decoration. I just love homeware. This is so cute. It is very cute. Oh, look at this, so cute. Oh, that's pretty. That is so cute. I need coasters, actually. Oh, that is cute, too. Ah, homeware. 
Oh, look at these chonky birds. I love this store. What is this store? Uh, I've seen it in, I've seen it in a couple Never seen it. I've been in it. Oh, I like this oh that's nice. Oh, that's but really I don't pretty. want to try it right. Would I use this? That is adorable. But I don't know what I'd use it for. Because I've been doing a lot of cheese boards when friends come over. So I want to do like, I want like a big board. Because Oh yeah, because um, I have a good chopping board and like, you know how for Christmas? Yeah. Um, for Christmas I had the cheese board and it fucked up my chopping board. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Christmas I had a really beautiful cheese board but the strawberries leaked onto the, uh, the, the board and then it screwed it up. So I want to get like a, a proper cheese board. Oh, that's adorable. Why is there prints, yeah. Wow. Oh my god, this is, this is too cute. Oh, there's so many things I want, but I'm gonna wait, I think. I wasn't planning on eating it, like, but I want to taste it. It's, 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 I use it to cook, like if it's cooked in stuff, yeah, I use it to cook for flavor. It's not mm. but but raw, I need raw, like raw, 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 So beautiful. Oh, okay, we need to go to the higher floor. Oh my gosh, it's so busy. Wow. Thank you. I think I'm gonna go right next to this chest. Many of her, I'm oh so God. pissed off. Of Nini? Ah, uh, Chi Chi? Oh, I got her, uh, so many of her. Oh, hi, Daddy. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Gaming. Waifu. She was a really disappointing character. Like, really? everyone thought she was going to be so OP and strong, but she's just. Yeah. Did you like know that? And then actually, yeah, <laughs> I know what it means, yes. <laughs> yes so no, yeah. But also because I spent so much money, then I need to know the name. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Buy music in the back. Oh, is this a music song? Yeah. <laughs> Concert. Uh, are you in it? No, no, in, in like the next one. Oh, next, next one. one. I'm waiting. Yeah. The, yeah awesome. The Japan, Japanese one. Mm.
we're left to Sky Tree and we're just grabbing some quick dinner at an Indian restaurant. Mango Lassi. Me too. Yeah. Oh my god. Look I wanted to be an interior designer. Yeah, <laughs> oh, interior design. I can wow. see. That. That's yeah. What I yeah. Oh. Oh, this is uh, from Magnolia Bakery. It's a like really famous bakery in New York. Oh, uh, um, thank you. Yeah. Oh, wait. Kind of <laughs> I need this right now. Like, oh, look at my fingers. Oh, my God. So so oh, the, um, the butter. Yeah, the body butter yeah. is so good. Yeah. Thank you. So today, I went to the Sky Tree just for the Genshin Impact event. And it was... Okay, I remembered that I went to the Attack on Titan event like seven years ago now with Sophie. And... The Attack on Titan event was really cool. We did go on a weekday, probably, because it was way more quiet. We were able to go into the cafe. We also stayed there for a really long time, and it was great. But today's a Sunday, and yeah, it was super busy at the Sky Tree, and we couldn't even go into the cafe because apparently they give out tickets earlier on in the morning. Also, when we arrived at the Sky Tree, we bought a ticket, but we couldn't enter for another hour or so. So I guess, yeah, I mean on weekends, you have to go earlier to book tickets, which I didn't know, but that's okay. Because um, I do want to go back to the Sky Tree for the Genshin event, maybe in a few weeks time, because I want to have more time to take photos with the treasure chest mainly, because, you know, I make chess videos for Genshin. But also, they had, ah, uh, let me see, they had a bunch of merch which is Sky Tree exclusive if you wanted to buy any. All of the really cute Genshin characters with the Sky Tree keychains were sold out. So, I mean, that's a shame, but I feel like if I go earlier next time, they will probably restock every day. They also started the show, which is the Sky Tree Round Theatre. And I was excited for this because for the Attack on Titan one, I remembered it was really cool. They had a show made specifically for the Sky Tree, and I really enjoyed it. For Genshin, it was really disappointing because they literally just played the character demos, which you can find on YouTube. They're just playing the trailers. So I was really confused because I thought it was going to be like a special show for Skytree, but no, they just played the trailers. I mean, look, I had fun and I am going to go back because I want to spend more time getting photos with the photo areas for Genshin. But I'm not going to watch that um, theatre show again because that was disappointing. And I also want to go to the cafe. So for the Genshin collaboration, they only have drinks, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I still had a good time with friends. And we, you know, spent a couple of hours at the restaurant at the end just chatting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed now because I have to go to film tomorrow morning at 7. No, it's not 7 at 8 a.m. Oh gosh. I may or may not vlog tomorrow depending on how I feel, but I will see you guys whenever I see you. All right guys, it's been a couple of days since Genshin has been out. I honestly am quite a mess right now. I am so exhausted. I've been staying up every single night until like ungodly hours just to finish off the videos. I'm almost done with the last chest video. I was hoping that I could finish the last chest video before I go out today just because it takes so long to export. Like last night I exported a video and it took like six hours because these videos are like over two hours long. But it's okay, I couldn't finish it because when I recorded the gameplay, the files would not open up in Final Cut Pro. So I had to convert the files, which takes a while. And okay, I converted all the files yesterday, but then when I was editing, I realized that I converted the files for some reason in 30 frames per second and I wanted 60. It probably doesn't make a difference to most people, but I'm a perfectionist and I want my chess videos to look good, so I am re-encoding that. 
So yeah, I mean, because of that, I couldn't finish off the videos, which is fine. So I'm just going to get ready now because I'm going to high tea with the girls. We are going to the Aman Tokyo in Otemachi. Also, please excuse the mess on my makeup table. I said to myself that I would clean it up months ago and I never did. Also, like, I feel, I feel really bad for this, but this background, this was supposed to be like a filming room for my main channel and I have not made a single video in this room yet so uh, most of my makeup is like really old I don't buy much makeup anymore because when I was in Australia oh I was getting PR so often like I would say like one week I'd get like 10 parcels and look it was great at that time because I never had to buy makeup but because of that my collection piled up and I feel like with makeup I don't throw it out until like it's done the whole thing is finished so because of that everything just piled up over the years and I have way too much oh crap too much. But yeah I have way too much makeup that's why I don't buy much makeup anymore this is me every day always in a rush because I'm so bad at time management <laughs> I'm not good with hair by the way guys, like I usually do the same hairstyle every single day. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put one of these bows on the back to cover it up. Yeah, that's fine. I'm a sweaty mess right now. <sighs> what am I? <laughs> Hang on, the arm oh, I think it's just in front of me. Sometimes Google Maps does not work well in Tokyo with all these buildings around. I have finally finished the last video for Genshin and I'm just exporting it now. It's on 36% but I think I'm going to keep my computer on overnight for it to export. Fingers crossed that it will work because I've been having issues with my computer recently where I would export a video and it would only export like half the video for some reason. So not really sure why that happens but I mean, I've got enough space on my computer, let me just quickly check. Because, yeah, sometimes if I don't have enough space, and fair enough, the video just cuts off. But, uh, yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got more than enough. Okay, so fingers crossed that it will export properly, so then I don't have to re-export tomorrow or anything. But, yeah, I'm so happy I finally finished all of the Genshin videos. I might do like a few more quest videos tomorrow but then like pretty easy to edit compared to the chest ones. Like whenever Genshin comes out I am filming the chest videos, editing them and look usually I'm not wearing makeup or anything. I'm like sitting in my pajamas with really greasy hair, eye bags because I haven't been sleeping. That's just the reality of um, what happens when a Genshin update comes out. I wanted to film more like behind the scenes on what happens when I, you know, play Genshin, but yeah, I feel like most of the time it would have been just me on the computer looking like trash. <laughs> I'm so glad it's done so I can finally get back to my normal life. <laughs> like whenever there's a Genshin update, I tell all my friends, you won't hear from me for a week because I am so focused on getting this stuff done. I was actually just trying to work on some Cafe Sheep stuff. I have like a bunch of bows, I just have to cut 
all of these excess um, threads off so I was doing that whilst I was waiting for my videos to export but I think I'm actually gonna head off to bed because I mean it's only on 37% now and I actually started exporting about two hours ago yeah so it's gonna take a long time well now that Genshin's finished I really want to go out and film a bit more around Tokyo I've got a couple of friends visiting as well right now so yeah I plan to go and explore I also need to go grocery shopping so I can start cooking again because I've been eating trash the last week like because of Genshin I I mean you can't help it right like you're just trying to get things done as fast as possible so you don't have time to cook so okay I'm gonna clean up my apartment tomorrow because it's such a mess Eric is actually leaving tomorrow to go on another snow trip I am not going to this one because I feel like for me I did enjoy snowboarding when we went last time but one trip per season is enough for me and also I'm planning one for early March for the dogs I just wish I had a bit more time to myself um, for the start of the year because I haven't been like I just had so many people visit me which is good though like I'm not complaining I feel like as you get older you just really value your time a lot more and I just wish I had more time to do so many things I have so many bows to get through like okay I spent like I don't know how long I spent but like whenever I was just waiting for my you know Genshin videos to export copy over and stuff I was, um, you know, trying to work on the cafe sheep stuff that I sewed last week and I'm pretty much almost done. All I'm doing now is just cutting off the loose threads. I turned all of these inside out, though I just have to iron them down and oh, I need to buy some better fabric glue because the one I got on Amazon sucks. Tomorrow I'm going to start preparing more vlogs for the main channel and this channel as well. So yeah, I mean look, I did want to upload multiple times a week on this channel and it slowed down definitely over the last few weeks because I just had so much on but it's fine because I do have a lot of content I still want to film so yeah I'm gonna go to bed now it's past 2am okay I really need to sleep all right I will see you guys tomorrow Alright guys, I managed to wake up pretty early this morning, um, but I did take a nap halfway through the day, which I wished I didn't. I wished I went out and took Hina earlier for a walk because right now it's snowing quite heavily and I don't know what to do. Because the problem with Hina is that she does not like to poop in the rain. And snow, I mean, it's pretty much the same. But it's going to be snowing all night until like midnight and it's gonna be really windy until 2 a.m. so I feel like do you still want to go out you have to poop right yeah I was gonna go grocery shopping today as well and cook myself a nice dinner but yeah I don't think I will be able to you still want to go out walking you can see it's snowing right how about I put on a coat for you I know you don't like it but we'll put on a raincoat all right, I just put this country road jacket on for her. So I mean, like, I do have a raincoat with a hood, but she really dislikes that because when it covers her face, she can't see where she's going. So I feel like this one would be a bit better for her. Like, it's not going to cover her fully, but at least it covers some of her body. So at least she won't be drenched. <laughs> she's so upset. You know, you look really good in that. <laughs> Come on. You know, it's country road it was from your auntie yeah oh I made it back home wow um, it took a half an hour to poop I <laughs> my hair's completely drenched and I feel like I probably got a frostbite my hand is really red right now. 
I mean, for Hina, there's literally nothing that I could do but take her out. Rain or snow, whatever, because if I don't take her out, she just won't poop. And she will hold in her poop, and she's done this before, where she held it in for like two days, and you know, that's really bad. So I have to take her out, and because it was snowing, and she hates her paws getting wet, it just takes her longer to poop. Usually she poops like immediately when I take her out, and I take her out for like, you know, a pretty decent long walk. But today, just the one day, I just wanted her to poop quickly. But she was trying to find like the perfect place, and she was trying to find a place that's undercover. So she was trying to go into random people's houses, so of course I'm pulling her back because that's like rude, you don't poop in people's houses. But she eventually did at the park and yeah, I went straight home. And because it's now dinner time and I'm really hungry, Uber Eats is going to be impossible right now because of the weather. So I decided to order some takeaway um, at this local Mexican restaurant that's, you know, just across the road from me. The guy's super nice. So I was like, you know, a mess when I got to the restaurant. And I was like, can I just order takeaway and then I can't pick it up in a bit. So he's going to call me when it's ready. He said it's going to be like maybe half an hour or so. And also, I cannot use an umbrella when I go out because this thing is scared of umbrellas. Alright, I just got back home, picked up the Mexican food. The guy's like really lovely, so he's Japanese, but he lived in Mexico for like 20 years, so his food's really authentic. So I usually go and dine there sometimes with Eric, and yeah, it's just really nice vibes, and he's lovely. But I also went to 7 Eleven beforehand, so I can't talk, my mouth is like frozen. <laughs> I wanted to pick up some supplies because it's raining all day tomorrow and well I mean I was gonna go out and do grocery shopping but because the weather's so bad tomorrow I feel like I have to walk in earlier just because I have something on at night time so I was like you know what I'm not gonna cook at all for the next two days I'm just gonna buy food so I just got some of this like cloud mushroom and egg Thing. I also got, ah, oh, I found this like mikan pudding, so uh, mandarin pudding, some bread. Recently I've been really obsessed with these porridge packets, so you just literally put it in a pot with hot water for like five minutes and it's a snack already, so like look, I shouldn't be eating late at night, but this is like the perfect midnight snack. So I got ume flavour and egg, some popcorn for snacks. And a warm drink because I need that right now. Okay, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Alright, so I got two tacos and a fajita. Mm. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's actually really late right now, and you might be wondering why did I put makeup on when you know it's already night time, I wasn't going out anywhere. So I decided to do a stream on Twitch earlier on and I just did like a really quick, I don't, this is like a five minute makeup look, um, just so I don't look like a mess. But I used to stream really regularly about eight years ago. I was doing like three streams a week. I don't know how I was doing this back then. I was doing three streams a week. I also uploaded twice a week on my main channel and then like once a week on my second channel like I was pumping out content I would like to you know pick up my game and post more this year so I mean look it's not going to be the same as before I don't think I can go back to streaming like three times a week two main videos and one vlog that's just impossible for me but okay the reason why I wanted to go back on Twitch was because okay sorry I need to wear my glasses because I wasn't wearing them if I wear my glasses and I take them off, oh, maybe I'm just tired actually. I'm struggling big time. Also the lack of sleep because of Genshin. But also I really need to get this eye fixed. Like, oh, it's just gone worse and worse. Sorry, anyway, I keep getting sidetracked because I'm I'm tired. Um, yeah, with Twitch streaming. So I yeah, streamed regularly 
three times a week and then I kind of stopped because we moved to Sydney at that time I was in Perth and you know I tried to get back into streaming but it was really difficult because at that time I was traveling back and forth between Japan and Australia like almost every two months so I just didn't have time to sit at home sit on my computer and play games and stream so then after that COVID hit and I did a few streams here and there I didn't stream regularly but I remember I played Animal Crossing and then people told me to play Genshin so I started playing Genshin on stream and yeah that was it was kind of where it all started but then I stopped streaming because I started making Genshin videos because I realized well I can't stream you know the chess videos I have to film it for YouTube and cut it down and edit and stuff so I stopped streaming Genshin mainly because when there's an update and a new area is added I have to work really quickly to get the chest done because people want the videos as soon as possible but the problem is if I want to stream Genshin by the time I'm ready to stream it I've done everything like I've gotten all the chests I've got the characters I've done all the quests there's nothing left to do in the game that's why I felt like there was no point in streaming I um don't really interact much with my comments on my game channel but that's why I want to start streaming to connect with like you know the audience anyway guys I'm like shutting my eyes I'm falling asleep so I'm gonna end this video here thank you so much guys for watching it is still snowing outside so see how it goes tomorrow it's gonna be so disgusting I think it's gonna be a slippery anyway guys bye bye